And today, we are going, well, I am going to be taking a look at the brand new 1.6 update. It isn't out yet, we're about, we're just a couple of days away from it actually being released. But I'm just going to be going over some of the new stuff introduced in the snapshots. This update has been codenamed the horse update because obviously it has horses in it but really there have been tons of bug fixes and tons of new features. This video is going to be a summary of most of the snapshots. Right now we are playing this on 13w25c but it will feature most of the features that will be in the 1.6 update. So let's get started. At number one, we have the brand new Minecraft launcher on your screen. You can see that, well, this is the snapshot version that is currently out. It might change when it when we're actually at the 1.6 update, but there is going to be a brand new launcher. I think, I can't remember, but I think that uh, you can switch Minecraft versions with it but for, um, from the two seconds that I used it it looked like a much better launcher. At number two the obvious one is horses. It is codenamed the horse update and the development of the horses was actually aided I believe with the um, uh, a developer of um, I think it was Mr Zark or something of the Mo Creatures mod. So let's just take a look. I have a spawn horse egg here. So if I go get an anvil name tag, it will actually let me name the horse. So if I put my name tag in here and I am going to call it um, Timothy. This is this is this is my new horse's name tag. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Here is my new horse. It's a very, very nice horse. It looks very nice. So I'm just going to get on the horse. Um get rid of that. Right, on the horse. It will chuck you off a few times until it actually likes you. It it's kind of random whether your horse will like you how quickly. Or in my case, it will never like me. Once it's, it, it has actually been tamed, you will see kind of love hearts like that, like you, I think you just saw. So, yeah, I think I have now tamed it. Now that my horse is tamed, I've just pushed uh, left shift to get off it. I can now give it a name. If I right click on it with my name tag, it's now called Timothy. It says Timothy above it, you see? Now... If I get one of these, a saddle, and I right click on my horse, you can see that it presents to you two item slots. Uh, uh, the top one is for a saddle, and the second one is for any armour. This is useful if you want to, I don't know, take the saddle off, like with pigs, they just stay on. But you can see that now I can ride my horse. If you look at the purple bar at the bottom, that will be how, how high my um, horse will jump. So if I just hold, you see it goes up, you've got to time it right. There we go. Horses can jump very high, so they're useful for jumping up, I don't know, mountains and stuff. There we go. Um, here we go. So yeah, I am on a horse. This is my horse. Now let's just spawn in a baby horse. Let me just get off this. Um, and let's spawn a baby horse. There is a baby horse. It's a little horse. Um, hasn't got a name. I won't name this one. Um, and yeah, little horse. So if I feed it some food, like a golden apple, for example. Ooh. Right, I can feed it. And then it will actually grow bigger. It will, after I think the number is 20 minutes, it will grow up to a full adult. But you can basically use food to speed up the process. So now, as you can see, this baby horse is now, it is now, is now a good horse. Is now, yeah. So if I, um, I would also like to show you the horse armor. If you right click on a horse. That, that likes you with armour. You can put in diamond, iron or gold horse armour. I'll just put the diamond on and you can see that horse now looks pretty awesome. So yeah, that is pretty much a summary of horses. On to the next thing. Right, at number three, we actually have more decorative blocks. In other words, 
Minecraft now has carpets of many colours. So we can just decorate oh, decorate the house with some lovely carpets. And yeah, carpets. It's the, it's the next best thing. Next, we have something that was actually introduced in the Minecraft 2.0 April Fool's joke. Um, which is the coal block. It's kind of like a redstone block, but it, well, and it's, it's, it kind of acts like coal, but it just lasts for longer. So if I just simply get a furnace, furnace, and I don't know, kill this pig. then you can see that the coal block lasts much longer. At number five, we have the introduction of some new awesome game rules. If we type the well-known slash game rule command, you'll see there are more game rules that we can alter. If you don't know, game rules basically affect like how, how the Minecraft server or world that you're on works. Like mob griefing will make it so when a creeper explodes, nothing will die. And there, yeah, they've added more game rules for you to play with. Like uh, do daylight cycle and uh, natural regeneration are all new ones. So they should be useful on like, I don't know, hardcore servers and things. But yeah, on to the next one. At number six, we have the resource pack system. This is a new system that is being introduced into 1.6 soon. Um, I, it's kind of where you can make like little mods. The texture pack system is being changed again, so everything will break again. And um, it's basically where it can, it, it, it gives people more freedom who want to change little things. Um, the resource pack system, I don't have much about it, so that's why we don't have anything to show you. Okay, on to the next one. At number seven, we have the slash spread players command. This is where you can spread out players. So if I type slash spread players, I need to put in a coordinate. I'll just put 100, 100. Um, and then spread distance, how much they will be spread, maximum amount, maximum range, I'll just put 50, that'll make that smaller. Um, so, you so can, you, may, maybe if you wanted to play like a uh, bow only game, and you weren't allowed to go near some, um, like near some, and you had to do a long range, maybe you could do that. Yeah, possibly. Well, here we have respect team, so yeah, I'm just going to put that in. Oh, I'm logged in as you, sorry. The old builder. There we go. So I was spread a hundred blocks around uh, uh, that. that uh, yeah. yeah, so I was basically spread out, and now I have no clue where I am. Okay, on to oh, so. At number eight, we have the most important thing in the whole of 1.6. They've changed the texture for charcoal. Here we go. You can see it's a different texture. Can't you notice the difference, Reese? It is a completely altered and different texture. Also, something else would be that a new, I think, kind of tooltip system has just been introduced. Then you can see the tooltip says where it's from, which is always useful if you are a noob. Well, that is the end of our very brief look at 1.6. Thank you very much for watching. There is some more horse stuff that I didn't cover, like them breeding and stuff. But that is basically a summary of what 1.6 will be like. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please do not forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at The Jersey. But 